Hi there, it's Joe from Water Games Channel, and I'm just here to show you a bit of the Nintendo Switch which arrived today. Now, I will be doing a review of the Switch, so this is just a quick unboxing video, really, and just give you my initial first impressions, and they really are the initial first impressions. I have to admit, when I first saw the box, I was quite surprised at how small it was. It's, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting. But like you see here, once you do get into it and open it up, you then see a switch, which again is much smaller than I was expecting. Well, the Joy-Cons are actually a decent size. I mean, I think they're not too bad, but I just expected the screen to be a lot bigger. But once you put the Joy-Cons on it, which clip in quite nice, then it's quite a decent size. Elsewhere in the box, you've got the Joy-Con holder, which turns it into more like a controller. Obviously, you've got all your cables. And then you've got the dock, which again is quite small, but it's actually fairly chunky. It feels like it's got something to it and it's not just going to fall over if you blow on it. Inside there you can see you plug in the AC adapter, the USB and the HDMI. And you've also got another couple of USB ports inside. Like I say, I'm quite impressed with the Joy-Con controllers so far. They feel quite nice to hold in hand. So I think they'll be quite good when you're playing one player games and have one each. Because they do seem fairly sturdy, which is quite nice considering how small they are. The console itself is pretty good looking I'd say. The only thing I don't really like about it so far is the kickstand on the back which seems really flimsy. In fact I've already broke it off once just by trying to pull it out to stand up the console. One more thing I wanted to show you was the insides of the boxes. So far I've got one, two Switch and Zelda although I've got Snip Clips too which is downloadable so obviously there's no box for that. As you can see the inside of the boxes is fairly minimal. There's no manual in there. So it seems like a bit of a waste of plastic really. Setting up the console itself was a bit of a breeze really. You just follow the options through and that's it done. You can easily link up your Nintendo account and set your TV up so that when you just plug it in like this, it just shows straight up on the TV, which is brilliant. The only thing that's not quite so seamless is if you don't have it in the right channel, then you will probably need to change the channel in order for it to switch as seamlessly as seen in the advertising. That's my initial impressions for now. I will have a full review of the Nintendo Switch soon, along with some of the games like Zelda, 1-2 Switch and Snipper Clips. Thanks for joining us for this video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for now. Bye.